Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Engineering Education. In this video, we'll discuss about basic concepts of mechanics. Mechanics is the branch of science which deals with the action of forces on body. Whenever there is a force on a body, body may be tends to move or whenever there is equal and opposite force, then that body may be in the equilibrium. That action of forces we study in the mechanics. There is a classification of mechanics in two terms. One is a static and another one is a dynamic. Static is nothing but body is in equilibrium under the action of external forces. And dynamic is nothing but body is in the motion. But again this dynamic is dynamics is divided into two terms. Two classifications are there. One is kinematics and another one is a kinetics. Kinematics is a pure motion. It will that body will be in the motion where kinet kinetics is the forces and the couples and the consequent motion of that particular body is studied under the kinetics. So this is all about the classification of mechanics. Then there is another one basic concept which is a scalar quantity. Scalar quantity is the physical quantity which has only magnitude no, no any direction. Here are some examples as mass, time, work, energy these are some examples of scalar quantity which has a magnitude but doesn't have any direction then there are some vector quantities also there is nothing but physical quantities which has both magnitude and direction just like displacement velocity even acceleration force, momentum, etc. These quantity must have magnitude and direction then and then only that can be expressed. So this is all about scalar and vector quantity. Next is a trigonometric ratio. This is one of the basic and important concept for solving the force related problem or even a problems in a engineering mechanics or applied mechanics also sine theta sine theta is nothing but whenever there is a triangle a b c we want to find out sine theta cos theta and tan theta with the help of that we can find out the um, regarding with the sides of a triangle also that is sine theta is equal to a b upon a c cos theta is equal to b c upon a c and sine theta is equal to a b upon ac so this is all about trigonometric ratio those are important we need to require whenever we are solving the problems then another one is nothing but units i had written near about 15 uh, units uh, units there we want to write down the units of each term area we express in meter square velocity we express in meter per second Volume we express in meter cube. Angular velocity it will be in radian per second. Acceleration we express in meter per second square. Force we express in a Newton. Density we express in kg per meter cube. Specific weight we express in Newton per meter cube. Work energy we express in a Newton meter torque we expresses in newton meter even um, impulse we express in newtons second surface tension is expressed in newton per meter power we express in newton meter per second discharge we express in meter cube per second and stress we express in newton per meter square so this is all about different units for different terms which completes some basic concepts of mechanics which we required when we we are going to solve the problems related to the engineering mechanics or whenever we will learn the terms related to the engineering mechanics thank you thank you for watching kindly like share subscribe excel engineering education